where over 200 plus chemicals on average are added to the water in the so-called fluoride mix. Lead, mercury, arsenic, Brynyard reagents, heavy metals of every smattering, total brain damage, massive cancer, total psycho takeover, tens of thousands of declassified government projects, some cases thousands of people killed per project, radiating foster children, injecting AIDS in foster children, Bayer injecting people with HIV, I mean, just on and on. Just mass murder, forced sterilization, ongoing currently, just total psycho evil. And now they want to start war with Russia. And it's just funny that you know Napoleon finally was taking over everything, so he attacked the Russians. Hitler did the same thing, and, and now the New World Order is going to do it. It just never ends. Absolutely never ends, ladies and gentlemen. Never ends. And if you go out and try to talk to the average person about it, they just go, what are you for Putin? I say nuke him. Well, the only problem is it's not like Iraqis or somebody that don't have anything to fight back with. And, and, and yeah, the, the United States run by the globalists probably has double the nukes that are deliverable in reality and a lot of high-tech weapons. But it's not going to matter. A lot of those Russian nukes are going to make it here and the cruise missiles are going to make it. And uh, they're going to nuke Western Europe. And, you know, where's that going to be for all you trendies? I mean, that's going to kind of mess up your plan to make all the little boys wear dresses, isn't it? I mean, I, I, you people are out of control. Napoleon Bonaparte was a lot smarter than you are. Adolf Hitler was smarter than you are. And, and, and look what happened to them. I mean, you just really need to back off right now and not start World War III. I mean, John Kerry looks like I was on a Knoxville, uh, one of our affiliates in the Talk show. Some of those guys on his guests sometime. Uh, they made the point that he looks like the Eastern Island uh, statues. Carrie. I've always described him like Lurch or something from the Adams family. There's so much Botox. But why get into what he personally looks like? He's a skull and bones occultist who thinks he's invincible on a power trip. And he publicly tried to launch a war with Al Qaeda. With the U.S. as its Air Force, the military said no five, six months ago. And that was all about a proxy war with Russia. And now they are launching a big attack in Ukraine. And again, it doesn't mean the Russians are perfect, doesn't mean they're good. The West is starting this, folks. It's dangerous. It's bad. It's not good. And I know that's a simple way of putting it. I mean, it, it's outrageously dangerous. It's over-the-top insane. There are no words to describe how bad this is. And we're just so used to being comfortable. We are so accustomed to just getting away with everything and everything's comfortable and everything's nice because we've been living off the liberty and freedom and due process that our ancestors fought for, but the bank's empty now. And the chickens are coming home to roost. And, and you know, I got articles here where Zuckerberg phones Obama to blast him about NSA. We have the New York Post PR pieces. The, the, Facebook is the NSA on record. So that's PR. And uh, George Soros comes out and says, we better not have sanctions on Russia. We better de-escalate this because he doesn't want his name on this big war that's about to start while he's in the middle of it. Because he realizes that once he starts a war flat out, which he's doing with Russia, that, you know, he, your name's on this, boy. Your name's on this. You think you're going to get away with this? Well, you try to shut down the First Amendment, the Second Amendment here. You think you're going to just, you're not, you're not going to get away with this, Soros. In French news agency saying this, here it is. It's very important to respond and respond the right way, which is not necessarily to impose sanctions on Russia, but to actually help Ukraine financially. That means come in and loot them. And also technical assistance, something like European Marshall Plan for Ukraine. Yeah, OECD. That would be the right response. But he's like, let's be friendly to Russia. Yeah, let's come in, build them up militarily, financially loot them. Don't run, we are your friends, Russia. And then they just spin all that. Of course, you know Soros has got access to Side R there in Maryland. But you don't have 
access to Site R or to Cheyenne Mountain or to any of the other deep cover bases. Those are a few of the public ones. All right, we're going to come back to you about some of the guests that are coming up, get into the big news. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Extend your life with Extend Ovite. So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extend Ovite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extend Ovite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it, though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have. But I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Over. With new and ever-increasing health threats on the rise, there has never been a more crucial time to support your immune system. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary new silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver and is powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, highly effective, and perfect for everyday use inside the body as well as out. The science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern science. Supernatural Silver is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver can change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. We are being conquered by an ideology of tyranny. That is the spirit of our enemy that throughout history and every culture and every race has preyed upon the public. It is a mutated form of culture, a predatory system where the establishment set themselves up like the Morlock and we the Eloy of H.G. Wells' time machine, which is an allegory in his own words of how the world system actually works. He was a top Thabian socialist and bioethicist eugenicist. Now, continuing, ladies and gentlemen, 
or simply put, an adherent of this system that governs our world and it's time to eradicate uh, normal human activity in a revolution against humanity, a final revolution in their own way, in their own words. Here are some of the headlines up on Infowars.com. United Nations attacks Second Amendment. New Iraq law legalizes rape. Feminists too busy banning words here in the United States to care. They never criticize any radical Islamicist. They only criticize men having muscles or being strong or fathers being manly or calling anybody bossy. UN tells us to eat bugs while elite live as kings. Very important special report that just posted on InfoWars.com. Another report we're going to be playing here that's amazing. Shot by Southwest Trendies want to ban cars. I sent Kit Daniels, one of our great reporters, out to ask, hey, if people want to ban guns when somebody kills a bunch of folks with guns, uh, people use cars just as much for mass murder. Uh, in fact, there's more people that use cars every year to run over folks. Uh, it's over 200. It's 160-something that die in mass shootings every year, most of them gang-related. So should we ban cars? And I thought they would go, no, no, don't blame the inanimate object. Blame the driver. But a bunch of them said, no, ban cars. So England is moving to make you get a license to have a butcher knife because they have stabbings are up tenfold the last 15 years since they banned guns. You can look that up in the BBC. They're very proud of it. With a straight face, they say, ban uh, butcher knives, unless you're a registered chef, uh, because they uh, are a deadly weapon. It is the butcher knife's fault. So uh, there you go. Ban the cars, ladies and gentlemen. They certainly live in la-la land, don't they? And uh, we're also going to get into uh, a bunch of really important news. But, you know, I mentioned this, and I'm just going to, Finish up with this now and then and then get into all the other news. Uh, John Kerry, on the heels of the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Dempsey, saying they're prepared for military action anytime they're ordered to do so. The Ukrainian government is massing their one million man reserve army uh, near the, the, the Crimean border. The Russians are massing um, hundreds of thousands of troops and weapon systems, armored vehicles, helicopters, you name it, uh, I guess, to repel that attack. Uh, Russia has until Monday to reserve and reverse course on Ukraine, Kerry says. Uh, and uh, don't forget uh, that in 2008, on the start of the Olympics, when they thought Russia wouldn't respond, uh, they launched attacks in South Ossetia and Abkhazia, both similar to Crimea being zones along the Russian border. And they actually attacked Russian military bases and killed the people in the barracks. Uh, and, and then uh, started putting NATO troops on the ground. Russia rolled medium-range uh, mobile nukes in that can't be easily targeted by cruise missiles because they move every 10 minutes and then retarget, move 10 minutes, retarget, move 10 minutes, retarget, move 10 minutes, retarget. You know, the big missile trucks. Uh, and they were targeting Western Europe, by the way, NATO bases. And the West backed off. But they're doing it again just to see, you know, we just poke the grizzly bear, just see what it does. And now they've got a cattle prod out poking the grizzly bear. And uh, but don't worry, here at home, uh, the Big Red One is domestically training to take on gun owners publicly in the Army's public manuals. It's total high treason. It's had the byproduct effect, uh, the blowback effect, that the military is totally waking up because they are being trained to take our guns. And they're, they're freaking out because they're good patriots on average. The most patriotic, most awake people are U.S. military. Active duty and non-commissioned officers are on fire for the Republic. Upwards of 90% are now awake. It was 80% six months ago. I'm getting chills right now. I don't know what the New World Order thinks they're going to pull, but they're going to fall on their face. The problem is it may turn the surface of the earth into molten slag, so it won't matter. But the military is freaking out, folks, because they're training to take on the Tea Party. And that's not just Infowars.com that broke that and Drudge that amplified it. It's in Forbes. It's in the Washington Times. It's in the Army Times. It's in Stars and Stripes. But in Stars and Stripes, they try to report it just real calmly. Like, well, we don't like training, the colonel says, to pull triggers on Americans, but that's the new mission. You know what they did in the Army Times when that first was published four years ago? They went and pulled the colonel's quote, but we have the page saved. Yes, they're training for treason. And, you know, all the commies are's that run things think it's cool, but the military is waking up.